Hello there, gang, and welcome to another episode of Displaying Moral Behaviour, the Earth's Mightiest Video Podcast. There's a whole bunch of news out there, so let's talk about it. Sony have put out the trailer for Craven. Oh. You know, normally I, I don't like being that internet person who hasn't seen the finished product and is just like, oh, this is going to be awful. But, oh, this is going to be awful. I just... <laughs> this... It, oh, mm. can, You can tell that a studio doesn't have faith in their project when each trailer makes the movie look different to what the previous one did. So the first trailer was a lot more kind of, I think, think sort of classic superhero origin. Quite Madam Webbish. It, it definitely felt like it fit in that Madam Web universe, which is the Sony Spider-Man universe, which is bad. <laughs> That's the same universe as Venom and Morbius. And I know kind of technically like they're good Spider-Man stuff as well, but ah, that's multiverses for you. But they've gone from being like a Madam Web style trailer to now basically John Wick in a vest. They, they are so... Watch this trailer back if you've seen it already or if you haven't seen it. it it's John Wick. They, they want you to think this is a John Wick type movie, but then with a supervillain monster in it as well. And that's <laughs> my other point. When I saw a first glimpse of the rhino, I was like, oh, okay, that, that doesn't look too bad. And then I saw him charging in jeans. Why is the rhino wearing pants? Like, I can just feel... Like, there was a boardroom of executives sat around, and they were they're just the only thing on their brain was, Well, what about his dick? He, he, he can't be naked. We'd have, to, we'd, have to, we'd have to show his big flopping rhino dick. No, you wouldn't. Look at, look at the comic book. Look at the action figures. Look at the video games. Look at anything the rhino has ever been in. You don't have to cover up his dick. It's fine. Should I say dick again? <laughs> Why not? I don't often say it on this channel. Why is he wearing pants? I feel like, are they worried that someone's going to go, That rhino is naked! <laughs> it just looks so stupid. It's too maybe, maybe he'll lose the pants later. I don't know, but that's just so dumb. It, it's just, I mean, it, it, it's just, don't get me wrong, it's, it's, not the, the, it's not the thing that's going to destroy the movie. It's just like what will probably be the topping on, on a, a very horrible sandwich of bad movie making. Also, they, they oh, someone in the trailer department saw Deadpool as well. And they're like, oh, oh, we, we need violence. We need blood. Blood and violence. That, that, that's going to sell it. Oh, we, more to the point, that's going to salvage it. We need something. We need to salvage this movie. Okay, John Wick. And Deadpool and Wolverine. That's that's what we need. Uh, no, no, no. Because it's still... You can polish this up however you want it. It's still a Sony Spider-Verse movie. And unless it's an animated Miles Morales film, it's it's going to be more, more of the same of Madam Web and Venom and Morbius. Sorry, I'm... I'm not going to pay to see this unless some insane reviews come out and they're like, oh my goodness, guys, you can't believe it. Like, we wouldn't have thought so, but this movie is actually amazing. I'll go see it. But if the reviews are like, yeah, you saw the trailer? Yeah, that's 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 what you expect. And I'll be like, whew. Okay, I'm going to save those two hours of my life and put them towards something more productive. Like, I don't know, clipping my toenails. Because <laughs> Lord knows, judging by these trailers, it's a hard pass. Which is a shame, because Aaron Taylor Johnson's great, but still, not great enough to save this movie, I don't think. Folks, time for a quick minute to tell you about our sponsors, Legendsverse. This is the number one spot to go to for all of your action figure curating needs. Whether you collect Marvel Legends, Mafex, Select, G.I. Joe, Star Wars Black Series, or even a couple of other ones as well that I'm forgetting because they do so many, this is the place you want to go to. You can catalogue all the figures you have. You can mark down what ones you have pre-ordered or you're looking for. You can divide them up into different groups and sublines. It's, it's something that's very satisfying for someone with either 
a super analytical brain that loves categorizing things, or someone on the opposite end of the spectrum who's so forgetful that they can't remember what they own. Well, don't worry. This place is going to be able to correlate all of them together for you. You can go take a look at it, go through the archives, see all the figures that date back years and years. We're talking pre-Marvel Legends days, which for me is just a super fun archive to go back and look at all the different figures that used to be out there. See where we've come from, because that's the only way you're going to know where we're going is to look back. So that's a lot of fun that you can do. And also just, uh, yeah, they're sponsoring the show. So why not show them some love? Because Lord knows they're showing me some love. So gang, go check out Legends Verse. You'll be glad you did. Everywhere I turn, it's Tracy. You're under arrest. Mezco are continuing their Dick Tracy line, this time with one of my favorite characters from the movies, The Blank. I love just the faceless, badass, mysterious looking character. This is really cool. I don't know if the comic book version of The Blank is Breathless Mahoney, aka Madonna, from the movie. I don't know if that's the backstory of the comic book, Blank. But this looking figure here, Oh, he looks, he looks cool. He looks really, really cool. Unfortunately, he looks too good because everyone's bought him already. This was announced like 24 hours ago. And already, if you go onto the Mezco website, it's only available via the wish list. So if anyone cancels their pre-orders, then you're going to be able to hopefully pick him up. But man, that's, that's kind of crazy. I mean, come on, Mezco. People want your products. And it's, it's 112 bucks. It ain't cheap. But People have snapped this dude up. I can see why, because yes, it's a Dick Tracy character, but also it's just, it's a cool gangster looking character. You could put this guy in any sort of noir type setting and he would just look wicked. So I'm a little bit envious. I, I would have kind of loved to have had a blank, but not so much that I'm going to put money down or, or, you know, put a wish list order in there. It's one of those ones where it would have been a whim, but you know what? The universe has decided that it's not for me. But if it is for you, then I hope you got your order in on time. And if it if you didn't, then I sincerely hope that the wish list comes through. Because honestly, looking at this, it's another gorgeous Dick Tracy figure, man. What have we got? We've got Dick Tracy, Prune Face, Flat Top. I think it's just those three. But the blank, he's going to be an awesome extra edition. And yeah, being a big 90s kid, that 1990 Dick Tracy movie, it's a weird movie. But it's also brilliant. I love Al Pacino's performance. What's the matter with you? Have you forgotten how to kill people? Do you take no pride in what you do anymore? Have you got no sense of duty? No sense of destiny? I'm looking for generals! What have I got? Foot soldiers! Ah, oh, I gotta go watch that again. Dude, that's, that, that's an underrated Al Pacino performance. Now nah, he was awesome in that. A lot of people like walnuts. They're good for the liver. Yeah, but they're bad for the brain. You're sloppy, big boy. You're under arrest. The rin turns thought into reality. Its limits are only what you can imagine. A sword. How oh, human. McFarlane have shown off a couple of... Uh, I'm going to keep on going. McFarlane have shown off a couple of their McFarlane Multiverse Green Lantern figures that are going to be coming out very soon. One dude, I've got to read his name because I don't know. Uh, so Green Lantern, Lantern Corps, uh, includes Tomar Ray and Abin Sir head portraits plus four extra hands and four additional accessories. Okay, so that's kind of cool. So it's one figure with the four different heads. All right, so you can buy four of these and then you got the Green Lantern Corps. It's a lot of buying the same thing over and over again and then you will end up with a whole bunch of spare heads as well. But hey, I'm actually not against uh, companies like McFarlane and Legends doing that, the same body with the multiple heads, because, hey, it's a, a cheap way for them to give you a whole bunch of characters that you may well want if you're building out a whole team, and that kind of works. Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm seeing more and more things from McFarlane that I actually can't, can't say that I don't like. In fact, I'd even say that I do like. And speaking of McFarlane DC figures that I kind of like, ugh, looking closer... Kind of. We've got uh, Huntress from New 52. Uh, Pre-order launches August 16th. So tomorrow, in my time. Uh, includes three swappable faces. Okay, that's a good thing. Because it was the face that put me off in this picture. The old Chevy Chase wasn't looking too good to my eye. So if they've got two other ones, that's not a bad thing. And quite impressive as far as accessories go. Then a fabric cape, four extra hands, and a crossbow. 
Yeah. I don't know what they're going to charge for this, though. I mean, that's where the real value comes in. But just from the initial lineup and offering, it looks pretty decent. Oh, Mondo. Mondo, Mondo, Mondo. Yeah, you're killing me here. One sixth scale Lino, the, the leader of the Thundercats, has never looked cooler. This is just beautiful. It should be. It's 250 bucks, but just look at it. Look at it. Take take a time out, all right? Put down what you're doing and just take a look at these pictures. Ah, I, I love it. I love it when toy companies take the initial design of a character and then do just, just their own little bit of tweaking, their own little bit of spin to make it look even cooler. Lion-O has never looked more badass. I love the extra details on the armor. He's got the different faces as well. So the, the face that looks kind of human, but then the, the super cat-like face as well. I love those two different styles. Those are really, really fun. Lino was a big part of my childhood, even though my favorite was always Tig Tigro. Was it Tigra or Tigro? I think it was, I think it was Tigra. But nonetheless, the, the, the tiger one with the bowler whip, ah, I thought he was awesome. Lionel always kind of annoyed me because he had to be the best at everything. They had this episode where, as like a trial, he had to beat all the Thundercats at their speciality. So he managed to beat Chitara in a race and he beat Panthro in like a fighting competition and he beat the two kids in like a sneaky thing. And I'm like, no. I don't, don't, don't Gary Sue lion -O. But, but they, they did. And I'm like, nah, who, who wants to support someone who's like good at everything? I'm not good at everything, so I can't really relate to it. Actually, I say that, I'm pretty good. <laughs> no, I'm a complete lummox. But this figure looks beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Mondo, <laughs> you've done it again. Oh, I forgot to say in all of my riffing, this is available now through Friday, August 23rd. So it's a limited pre-order. So you better get in there quick, because once he's gone, I can only assume he's going to be gone. That's why I said he was gone. Say his name and he appears. I spoke about Ralph Jones from Storm Collectibles King of Fighters 98 line on the last episode and boom. Here he is with the full reveal images. And just as I predicted on the previous episode, he looks good. I mean, wow, that's a that, that was a risky take on my part that a Storm Collectibles figure might look decent, but lo and behold, he does. I I, I like the look of him. I'm not a King of the Fighters person. That never really permeated permulated permuta per what's the word that never really per permetrated no no it's it's gone but that never really was a big thing in the uk in the uk we were very street fighter oriented what is the word per pen penetrated that doesn't sound right nonetheless though this is a good looking figure so if you are a big king of fighters fan and i'm sure that there must be a lot because they're really going quite deep into this line then this is probably going to be another essential purchase cuz yeah, looks like they did a really fun job with them. Still still a bit salty that they dropped the Mortal Kombat license, though. Still not quite over that one. McFarlane are going back to The Walking Dead with 5-inch scale figures. So a bit outside of what they normally do. I've just got this promo image here. Unless... When I'm editing this, more images are revealed. But we're getting uh, the Dixon brothers. Uh, what was it? Uh, Daryl and Merle? Yeah, Daryl and Merle Dixon. We're getting Rick Grimes as well. And also we're getting Michonne. And being McFarlane, I think that the, the likenesses look real good. That's one thing I'll always give McFarlane credit for. Generally, their real-life facial likenesses... Pretty on point. Not quite necker, but very, very good. I Really, I mean, you could argue they're better. It's down to your own personal tastes. But yeah, that's all I've got is just this initial reveal shot. But uh, yeah, it says Wave 1 pre-orders go live tomorrow or launch tomorrow, which when this was posted was a day ago. So they might be up already. Don't worry. When I'm putting this whole video together, I'll include all the info if I can find it, which I will because I'm going to look for it. And one day a lawman appeared. Brave Star, Brave Star, strength of the bear, speed of a puma. Yes, not a puma, a puma. I, I find that pronunciation really satisfying. Speed of a puma. What else was it? Eyes of a hawk, ears of a wolf. Pretty sure that was it. This looks great. Ramen toys, you've done it again. What can I say? Ace, friend of the show. I'm not just saying it because you're a buddy of mine. Oh, I we 
are buddies, aren't we? Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know. So sometimes you got to like reach a certain level of communication and then you go from like work associates to buddies. You know what? We're buddies. And you've done a great job. <laughs> this, this sheriff, who is not Brave Star, I would like to point out. I was just singing that song randomly. <laughs> but this martial figure uh, is the name of, of this uh, completely unique character. Uh, he's up for pre-order now. A uh, hundred bucks or 99. Uh, limited stock available on the website. One nice little point that I kind of like here. A little, little bit of shade thrown, but I kind of dig it. It says, all of these photos, zero photoshopping. Zero photoshopping to hide any blemishes or imperfections. I kind of like that as a little note made on there. Like... Not that other companies do that, <laughs> but just so you know, these are all legit, and honestly, they do look really great. I will, really, I want to go watch some Brave Star now for no particular reason. NECA are doing a really fun looking Universal Monsters pack. Let me read out the info here. Rising from the crypt, ready to join your monsters collection. Happy Monster Monday from the Crypt Club 4-pack, available for pre-order on the NECA store while supplies last. Let me see if I can get a sneaky little price key here for you. It's going to be $149? Ow! That's that's a that's a lot. I mean, that that breaks down to you know sort of three six nine twelve thirty five bucks a figure, give give or take. Some quick four eight twelve sixty. Yeah 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 yeah, about thirty seven bucks a figure. But that's a lot because these don't look like your sort of super high end necker. They look like slightly more basic necker. But that's a lot of money. I mean, they come with a coffin as well. But oof. I mean. I'm, I'm singing the praises that these look really fun and bright, but at the same time, yikes, that's, uh, that ain't, that ain't cheap. But if you're a big Universal Monsters fan, so I'm kind of peering around my microphone to take a closer look at these, they, they, they look fun. I don't know why Frankenstein's monster is translucent, though. Uh, it's, I, it, it's, it's a choice, I guess. I, I like the idea of a Universal Monsters set, but that's, whew, that is expensive. So limited stock pre-order, shipping October 2024, well, in time for Halloween, so that's good. So, yay, Monsters 4-pack, but, woof, that's a, that's a lot of money you gotta pay for them. He's a man! Be more man than him! I must break you. Living in America, ow! Ah, ah, station, station! That was the first time I ever saw James Brown, was from the Rocky movies, well, from Rocky Four specifically, so <laughs> as a kid, I was like, oh, James Brown, yeah, the dude from the Rocky movies, and now McFarlane are doing two of their movie maniac statues from, I think, the most comic booky of the Rocky movies. We're getting Ivan Drago, and we're getting Sylvester Stallone himself, and they both look like really good likenesses. You know me, I'm not a big statue guy, and McFarlane, they love their statues. If Todd can just eliminate all articulation from his figures, oh! He would be so happy, I bet. So these do look pretty cool, though. Ivan Drago, I think the uh, the likeness to Dolph Lundgren looks terrific. You just look at this figure and you can hear him being like, I must break you. <laughs> Go for it. So these both look kind of fun. They're going to be up for pre-order on McFarlane.com pretty soon. I, I, I've got the website in front of me, but it doesn't say a price, which is really annoying. But I think they're about 25 bucks, give or take. And yeah, to add to the Movie Maniacs line, I think they look pretty cool. Ever had a dream, Neo, that you were so sure was real? Crime One Studio and Blitzway, the combined company, what have revealed a Matrix game? statue. OG classic 1999 Matrix. Neo, whoa, I know Kung Fu. I, I've got a big old nostalgia thing. <laughs> a nostalgia thing? Yeah, I've got a nostalgia thing for the Matrix. I'm not even a big statue person, but this has got light up functions as well that are gonna shine that LED kind of look. I like it. I do. I, I, I wouldn't mind to see some, some really good, like, modern soft goods Matrix figures. That would be wicked. In the meantime, though, we've got this statue upcoming. Don't have a price or release date, unfortunately, but keep your eyes on the Matrix code of the Blitzway website. I'm sure it'll be up for pre-order very, very soon. In the meantime, though, I think it looks quite pretty. Whoa. In Creator Corner, this is an unusual one I've been meaning to shout out for ages. Jolie Face is this animator who makes these incredible 
animated versions of the Marvel collectible cards. These are stunning. These just came upon my timeline ages ago, and then I forgot to mention them. And then a friend of the show sent me this uh, a link to his page again saying, have you seen these? It's like, oh my goodness, yes, of course I have. And here they are. There's a whole bunch of other stuff on his account, but those are the things that really caught my eye. But the dude seems like an incredibly prolific and very talented animator. But, ah, geez louise, the the Marvel cards, those are the, those are the pièces de, de la résistance. So if you like those, then dive on in and check out the rest of his work. Give him a follow, because, oh my goodness, this, this dude, not only is it talent, but it's doing something innovative and unusual with that talent animating these cards oh i love that oh dude jo jolie face or joel furtado keep up the great work man because these these are something special today's cosplay cover artist is the ember wolf go check her out does really fun very kind of cute but slightly gothic -y kind of i don't know why am i even using words to describe it you can just go to her instagram page and check her out and when you do, you'll be glad you did, because she's doing some great stuff on there. Her recent set with Deadpool and Wolverine, yeah, <laughs> those two characters have never looked cuter. And the rest of her stuff, it ain't half bad either. And folks, that does it for good news for today. What did you think about the items covered? Comment below, let me know. And if you like what you see here and you want to see more, then you know what you gotta do. You gotta join the 6-1 Clicks by clicking the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And if you want to go one step beyond in supporting the channel, then you can do by joining the channel members section. By doing that, you get to support the show, which I really, really appreciate. It gives me more time to be able to do this rather than going out and doing my extra job. So, you know, this is all just extra stuff that I do in my increasingly limited free time, but I love doing it. So, channel members, thank you so, so much. Members of the Model Behavior Underground, you make this show possible, and I'm so grateful for that. So, guys, thank you so much for your support, and until next time, keep displaying Model Behavior.